We love a bit of League One action here on JNOFM because in League One we can win games. What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Return to Glory Season Number 3 and let's just straight away look at the table to see that we are sitting on 16 points, joint second with Millwall. So we've gone on a great run of form at the beginning of this season, hopefully I'm building a side that can do something similar, it doesn't even have to be similar, it just has to avoid relegation in the championship if we keep up this form in this season and get promoted yet again to the championship but today is a massive fixture against Millwall to see who gets that first place slot after eight games and then we also have a game against Charlton away so a big double header in London so there are so many things we could talk about going into these games but let's just get into the games hopefully pick up a win against Millwall we are out of the league or the EFL Cup, that's the one. We're out of the EFL Cup. We have won our first Checker Trade Trophy game. Might try and win the Checker Trade Trophy, but I'm not sure I'll start putting that in episodes until we're further along in it. So we're gonna focus on League One action with this game against Millwall. We are starting with McDermott in goal, Midas and Spence as the wing backs, Tafazoli and Beedling as the two centre backs, Grimshaw as that ball winning midfielder with Parrott as the box to box midfielder, Kennedy and Coots as the wide men with Moncur as the shadow striker behind Fuster. 4 2 3 1, we're coming up against a lot of them, but this 4 4 2 seems to like playing 4 2 3 1, so hopefully we could be picking up a big victory against first place Millwall. At least that's the big plan. Okay, so we kick things off. And I think Millwall have been in League One. I can't remember if they've been in League One the entirety of uh, this save. I apologise to any Millwall fans if you have been in the Championship and I just completely didn't realise or play attention. Kind of been a bit too focused on the rivalry of Milton Keynes, I think. Not that Wimbledon fans hold a grudge about that. Okay, 20 minutes into the game and very little has happened. Okay, we win the ball there with Beedling, but he's just headed it straight to a Millwall player. And they have broken through our defence, but McDermott comes up with a big save. McDermott has started to seriously improve as a goalkeeper. My scouts and coaches said he had potential, but I did look for a replacement goalkeeper because I felt like we needed someone a bit better. This is all Millwall at the moment, though. And they've managed to hit the crossbar not liking how this game has started will we at least see it out to half time i'm going to tell them i'm far from pleased because i expect better from them and we're going to change to counter and tell them to be more disciplined instead of being more expressive and see if that has any effect on the game may even put in a team talk and tell them to uh, show some passion Show some fight, boys. At least I'm not passionately showing passion like I have before. Okay, Fusa is not having the best of games, so we're gonna bring on Laura Della Valle. Moncur for once isn't having the best of games, but Grimshaw on 61% will take him off for Luke McCormack. Hype them up a bit as Coots crosses the ball in. It is cleared, but Midas should pick that up. I mean, he's just waiting for it to roll to him. Plays it back out wide to Coots. Not the greatest of headers towards a box, but Midas now has the ball yet again. Plays it to Grimshaw to Coots to Moncur. Shoots from distance, and their keeper, Archer, has had a mare. Has had an absolute mare, but we will take it. We've had a long shot, we've had a crack at goal, and Moncur has scored from a crazy distance. But really, the keeper here spends an absolute age getting down to the floor and just kind of palms it into his own net. Thank you very much, Archer. I'll give you that 10 quid later. I hope he asked for more than 10 quid. Coots, what a free kick. We brought him in on a free and he can take set pieces. I would if this was about four or five months ago be saying is Coots our Dimitri Payet but instead 
I'm going to say is Kutsar Ibrahimovic because the EFL Cup has been played just before I recorded this episode. Right, Moncur now has it. We've definitely improved in this second half. My changes to counter and to be more disciplined have certainly seemed to have a positive effect. As Kutsar plays the parrot to Moncur, De La Valle, and it's free. I'm surprised the decision I made has gone this well. Because it never usually goes this well, but we have completely turned this game around. After a first half where we kind of just hung on to the 0-0 draw, we have now come out there and absolutely dominated Millwall. Top of the table, Millwall. Or they were anyway, until they faced us in this second half. Oh, I hate it when my defence sort out a ball and then it just bounces around in the box. And Lee Gregory picks it up. We've thrown away our clean sheet, despite the fact that we're having a better second half than the first. But Spence wins that ball. And Tafazoli tries to run away from the ball. And it kind of just hits him in his heels and drops the Gregory. What on earth is all that about? Alright, so assertively tighten up. I mean, in seven minutes, they should really not score two goals. But I'm telling them to tighten up anyway because three points here is massive for us. We could be getting a League One title again if we continue this sort of form. But my teams have been known to suddenly drop off. It's happened in the West Ham world. It's happened in the AFC Wimbledon return to glory. De La Valle, that's just a little bit wide. Just a little bit. Anyway, Midas has the ball outside the box. It's just dribbling forward slowly. Coots now has the ball. Tried to cross it in, Archer picks it up. All right, McDermott now just taking his time because he doesn't need to rush. The whistle is gonna go any moment now. Mr. Kennedy is gonna be the last one to kick the ball as the full-time whistle has been blown and we have picked up a massive London Derby first versus second place victory. And apparently only Paul Coots is delighted. There we go, this is a bit better. Thank you very much. Okay, so if we can beat Millwall, surely we can beat Charlton. At least that's what I'd like to think. So it's time for the second game. We're now on the road at Charlton Athletic. We're keeping the same lineup. Nothing has changed apart from Laura De La Valle up top. We're playing against another 4-4-2. Is that Aidan McGeady? Oh, I've done it, haven't I? I pointed a player out. It is Aidan McGeady. Wow, I would quite like Aidan McGeady in my side. Anyway... He's now going to score. All right, I want them to pick up where they left off. And I have faith in the defence. Let's go out there and get a good performance. Okay, all of our shots have been long shots, but they have all been on target. We are really racing ahead with the shots on goal. We've restricted them to one long shot so far. Grimshaw wins the ball in the middle there. De La Valle is coming forward. Plays it to Moncur, who has been on form to Coots. Also a great signing, crosses it in, De La Valle finishes the move off, 1-0. We are hopefully running away with this league. And the thing is, I'm not sure if it's all these signings or if my team is just at that stage where they're too good for League One but not good enough for the championship. Or it's the formation or I just made some really good signings. A lot of which have been on free transfers. Fortunately, my defence managed to cope with that ball bouncing around in the middle of the box there. But we have done really well at the beginning of this season. Hopefully it doesn't drop off. McDermott with a great save there. It looks like it was straight at him. But Charlton are now starting to pile on the pressure. The Spence gets a header away. Is that the end of that play? Is it half time? It's half time. That was a good first half, lads. So I'm happy with you. Keep it up. Not worked as well as I wanted it to. So we'll stick to what I know usually gets a decent reaction. So as we're away, calm and that we have faith. Go out there and put in another good performance in the second half. Get us another three points and keep us at the top of this table. Grimshaw with a foul there though. Is that a card? It's a yellow card. So we may be taking Grimshaw off in a couple of minutes. In fact, we're going to do it in the 56th minute just to not risk getting another card. McCormack can come on. That is looks like the hardest working role in our midfield as well. So it's always good to change him out. And we'll bring on Rosenthal for Parrot and swap Rosenthal with Moncur. 
We'll show him a bit of faith and hopefully keep our lead and get a four point gap because Millwall looks like they're only getting a draw at the moment. Which means Burry or Berry, I've been told how to say that already on YouTube. Berry have jumped over Milton Keynes, Millwall. Wow, as there's an attack by Charlton while I'm getting my words mixed up and it is one all. This is not good. We did not want to be getting a draw today. It is away, so it's not the end of the world. Charlton are a mid-table team, so this was always possible, but after what was a shambles of the last season, it would have been nice to bring a two-win episode. We may not even get a win and a draw episode as they've hit the post. Wow, Charlton are really going for it now, aren't they? I think they're countering us. So we're going to go to counter, and I can't make another team talk, but we're going to change our mentality to counter, sit a bit further back, McCormack has a shot, he hits the crossbar, that could have been the winner. We've moved to counter, which seems to have stopped Charlton's chances, we seem to be getting the chances now, as Coots has the ball, plays it to Kennedy, plays it through to Delavale, put it away. I made two great decisions in two matches because that is not like me what's going on am I starting to understand the game is it all starting to click I doubt it but it feels that way in this episode as we have read the game seemingly I don't want to big myself up too much and we have managed to pull out victories when we would have got draws or defeats as Coots could have had a better shot on goal there but it's full time we managed to make sure we get three points there from the jaws of a draw. Well played, lads. Well done. That's a good win. Anyway, I'm not sure it could have gone any better. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, enjoy seeing me win and enjoyed my tactical nounce, then please make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to hit that like button. Support is much appreciated on this channel. You can check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel as well. I've been JNO, you guys have been awesome, and AFC Wimbledon are back where they belong, on top of the table.